Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us this half hour. I'm Hannah Patrick. We are starting with a very special pup date from the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher. The new baby otters were introduced to the public for the first time this morning. But did they actually decide to come out? I was there for the special moment. Take a look. They're not even three months old yet, but the three Asian small clawed otter pups at the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher already have an otterly big fan club on social media. We've been looking at the, uh, the aquarium Instagram and the second we saw that they were going to be here, we were going to be here as early as we could. Staff and visitors didn't have to wait long for pup one, pup two, pup three to make their first entrance for you and me in their pup proof public habitat. So this is the first time we've had otter pups here. It was a special moment for aquarist Shannon Anderson, who's been taking care of the whole otter family since the pups were born on May 21st. The first moments were so exciting. Anderson says they weren't sure if the pups would actually come out, but they had a little help. Fortunately, Quincy and Leia are very confident parents, and so it was great to see them come right onto Habitat and kind of go into their old routine. And just like most parents, Anderson says their dad is very protective and immediately got to work doing what dads do. He's making sure that that whole space smells like him again, and he's reestablishing that territory. So that cute little waggle dance that you saw. Anderson says you can also see the pup's utterly different personality. Pup number one, she's the largest. She's very dominant. Um, we have been doing training sessions to train them to go onto the scale, and she has picked it up like that. She says pup number two was the smallest initially. But she's actually the one that opened her eyes first. Um, she's the one that emerged out of the nest first. She's also a little sassy, too. And pup three? And pup number three is our really shy little pup. Um, she's usually the one that's going to be trailing behind the family and she's very, very cautious. And now that we've followed them on social media and met them in person, that just leaves one otter thing left to do. We want everyone to realize that, you know, this is a great success, not for just the individuals here that work at the aquarium, but for our community overall. And so we wanted them to be involved in selecting names. The community has four different name variations to choose from online or at the aquarium. I'll come over and I'll like look into like our little submission box here and I'm looking to see if I can kind of cheat myself and find I'm just excited. And whether you've been working with otters for almost a decade, we're very proud here overall. Or this was your first time seeing the pups in person. It's just something you come here and it makes you happy. This was an otterly exciting moment for everyone. It was so cute. And when I asked which names are in the lead, I heard it's otter this world. Get it? <laughs> All right. If you want to vote for the pup's names, you have a little more than a week to do so. Head to our website at wwaytv3.com.